Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. And today I wanna to talk about a different kind of painting surface. And that is this canvas bag that I'm working on right now. Again, for uh, upcoming shows and classes in Dallas. Um, I, I wanted to talk briefly about the difference between say working with canvas and working with the normal cotton sateen that I normally use in my kits. Um, I'm gonna come up close to these gay feathers that I'm, I'm currently working with right now. And this is where I really wanna show you the difference and why I think a canvas bag is actually one of the best things to color on for a beginner. Because number one, it's thicker. Um, the bleeding issue is not nearly as great. I mean, if you can look at this gay feather, I just put down the fabric medium um, just literally within seconds of starting to film this. And um, you can see how nice and easily it blends. Um, I'm just, it's still wet, so I'm just gonna come out. I'm actually carrying this beyond the stitching because I want the gay feather to look kind of fuzzy looking. And, but but you'll see, I mean, no, no bleeding whatsoever. The other nice thing that I like um, to use canvas bags for is when you color on them, um, it, it kind of creates these little dots on the weave. And in fact, I'm just gonna come in here with my fuchsia ink tense pencil and and you can see that it creates these little dots when you color on it so what i tell my students is great when when you go to blend let me just put a few more down there and you can see those dots now i'm going to come back in with some fabric medium over those dots and here's where i tell them they, they can tell that it's working those dots disappear so um, it's, it's kind of a, a very easy way to tell whether or not you're putting enough fabric medium down. It also tells you whether or not you're getting all of the color that you've colored already and making sure it's coated with fabric medium. And then the other nice thing about this is, is really there's no bleeding. Um, I'm going to open up the bag here real quick so that you can take a look at it in on the inside where I was coloring. I'm just going to kind of flip it up here and over. You can see where I've colored, but notice it's not bleeding through. And this back here is um, tearaway stabilizer. So even if it did maybe kind of bleed through the canvas bag, which would be pretty hard to do, you'd have to put a lot of fabric medium on there. This paper is also going to protect it in the long run too. So I, I just wanted to uh, give you guys some ideas. These bags, very inexpensive. I think they worked out to be about $4 a bag, purchasing them through Amazon, 100% canvas. They come in all different colors. Of course, this is white, um, and it they fit very easily inside my hoop. I'm gonna turn the camera around just a minute so that you can see the full picture here. And I think it's kind of a nice little uh, decorative touch to a bag that you could then use to go to the grocery store with, pack your groceries. Um, and so that's what we're going to be coloring in class. So once again, I would suggest, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're attempting to teach yourself how to color on fabric, that using one of these canvas bags, very inexpensive. Um, you don't have to stitch out on it, obviously. You could just color direct with it. Um, I have also used in the green here, the fabric uh, markers, Fabrico fabric markers. And these were uh, also very easy to use on canvas. So there you have it. Hopefully that's another tip and idea for you. As always, if you need any help, you can contact me at medinadomarts at aol.com or continue to look at my website, uh, which is located in my description uh, of my uh, YouTube videos. Again, any questions, if you need any help, please feel free to contact me. If not, Enjoy. Thanks.